In this demonstration, we'll be importing a 3D model from an external application and then machining this using one of the tools within ArtCam. The model that we'll be using is this 3D model which has been created in Rhino. And this will be the model that we will be importing into ArtCam itself. So the first thing we're going to do is open the mill wizard functionality. The mill wizard is a step-by-step -step tool which allows you to import a model and go all the way through to finally machining the piece. So in step one, we're going to import the model, which is going to be that toy train, which is a Rhino file. As we can see here, the model is now imported and we're going to go step by step through this wizard. So we can see our model dimensions in here. And now the second step is the cut direction. Now currently, the tool is coming from here downwards. So it's cutting from the top. We could switch this to the bottom. Or we could cut the top of the train the bottom of the train. We could also rotate it 90 degrees if our material is set up differently. I'm happy with this so I'm going to go through the next stage of the wizard. Step 3 is where I can resize my model so if I'm not happy with the size and I needed to make it exactly 200 it would change the Y and the Z scale within the percentage value. I'm going to go to step three, step four. Step four is where the model lies within the actual cutting plane itself. So for instance, I could have the cutting plane at the bottom of the model. I could have it within the center, or I can manually type in a figure. In this case, I'm going to leave it in the center of the model. Going on to step five. Step five is now where I select my tools. Now within Mill Wizard, we have metric and inch tools, and we have a whole load of tools already set there for you. So in wooden plastic, I've got roughing, finishing, V-bit carving, and some special uh, panel type tools. So I'm gonna select a nice big end mill tool. I can edit any of the settings, so I can change my speeds, feeds, step overs, diameters, step downs, create new tools within this application. The next tool is going to be my finishing tool. Now for my finishing tool, I'm going to choose a small one and a half mil ball nose tool. It's quite a small piece. Now my allowance, as it shows in this picture here, is like a skin. So I can use leave a small allowance over the top of the material if I would like from each tool. The roughing tool is more ideal to leave one. The finishing tool, you usually would leave an allowance if you're going to finish this by hand, so sand in it. So I'm just going to leave the settings as they are and go through next on this. And now I can set up my machining strategy. So currently what happens, as it shows in this picture here, is that the roughing tool chunks away the majority of the material one way and then the finishing tool rotates and cuts away the rest of the material the other way leaving you a much cleaner finish. If you have a material such as a wood which may chip if you were to chip to cut along the other axis against the grain you could turn this to align with roughing and you could cut the roughing and the finishing path along the same direction. We can also set up our material here so I'm going to set it as a 15 millimeters for my material. And I'm now going to calculate this. So first of all, we'll see the roughing has gone one direction. Then once this is done, it will rotate 90 degrees and do the finishing pass. Now, once this is done, we can also simulate this. Now to simulate this, 
just click on the simulate button this will show me exactly what it will look like once it's come off the machine Now that's simulated, we can see we've got quite a nice finish. If we weren't happy with our finish at any point, as it's a wizard, we could go previous and go backwards through the wizard and change certain settings. I'm going to go next, and just to finish this off, step eight is to save our paths out. So I'm gonna save my roughing path, my end mill tool. And we have about 200 machines in here, a whole load of different machines within here. I'm just going to save this out to any destination I feel. So I'm going to save this onto my desktop. And then I'm going to send that back across to this side and save out my finishing toolpath. And then these are ready to send straight to the machine. Now you can see how easy it is within ArtCam Pro to easily import a model from an external application and then machine it.